y'all, it's Olivia. And today I wanted to make a video about a job I have with the company Magic Ears. All right, so what is Magic Ears? What do I do with them? What is this? So Magic Ears is an ESL company, so English as a second language company based in Beijing. And in this job, what I do is I'm a teacher. I teach children aged five to 12 English online, all online, remotely so I can work anywhere I want. I get to just wake up, fix my face a bit and go teach and it's lovely and I really enjoy working with the kids. I have been working with Magic Ears for about a year now. I'm in my second contract and I have genuinely loved every second of working with them. So I cannot recommend to you Magic Ears enough. If you've never had teaching experience, that's okay. Magic Ears actually creates the lesson plans for you. And all your job is, is to familiarize yourself with the material and be able to, you know, cohesively go through a lesson and kind of prepare yourself for how you're going to teach it. If you're interested or looking for an online job yourself, definitely watch this video. I'm going to go through all the steps, be it the interview, the application, your first class, all of that, all the tips and tricks. So let's get started. So to be eligible to be a Magic Ears teacher, you must have a bachelor's degree or be in the pursuit of one. You must be a native English speaker from the US or Canada. And you need to have a 120 hour TEFL certificate, which can be obtained on your own, uh, which can range from anywhere from about 50 to $300, but you can use it anywhere for any ESL job or Magic Ears actually offers their own TEFL program for about $20, but it's only for Magic Ears. So that's up to you, but it's a really great program as well. If you're just trying to get the job. Some techie things you might want to think about are that you will eventually, if you get hired, need a headset. You can't use AirPods or headphones. It needs to be a proper headset with a microphone. You also need an ethernet plug-in. I don't know the proper word, like an ethernet adapter to plug into your computer that will attach to your router and I don't know. You just want a really stable connection so that you don't have any lags when you're teaching. So just make sure you check below in the links in the description to run your programs and see if that meets Magic Ears requirements. Okay, so what are the benefits of working with Magic Ears over other ESL companies? The thing I really like, first of all, is that they book classes for you and you don't have to market yourself. Magic Ears uses their own system that books your classes and I rarely ever had a class that I've opened up my availability that didn't get booked. Another huge thing is you can teach anywhere in the world. As long as you can be available in the times Magic Ears has classes, then you can be anywhere. You've got the stable connection, you've got a laptop, and you've got time, then you can work anywhere in the world, which is really appealing. Another thing is they offer free training programs. You can constantly work on your teaching methods and your teaching skills. When I've attended the trainings, the trainers are super receptive and will answer any questions you may have, whether that be related to the specific topic they're talking about or just Magic Ears as a whole. So it's a really great community to to be involved in as an employee. So Magic Ears advertises an hourly rate between $18 and $26, but realistically you get about $9 or $13 per class. And since each class is only 25 minutes, you can work two classes in one hour. But again, your wage is based on your base pay, your performance, and your ranking. So there's a lot of variability there. I kind of broke this down here. So your base pay is just based on your credentials, whether you're new to Magic Ears, if you're a junior, a senior, or a Magic Ears master, that will affect your base pay and then participation. If you arrive to each class about three minutes early, then you get an extra dollar per class. And that's not to mention the standby classes. So if a class is open and you didn't sign up for it, but maybe they need teachers because some people have canceled, there will be standby options and you get a bonus for doing standby classes. So there's a lot of room here to make extra bonus cash on the side. Taxes are a bit odd though. Um, I'll put a guide to the IRS for Americans down below on how you will file taxes for working with the Magic Ears. Another benefit is you get a success coach that you will have for the duration of your contract. And again, I cannot say enough good things about Magic Ears communication. I have felt so supported throughout the whole process. They would answer any questions I had and give me really good feedback, but it was never nasty or rude. It was always very kind and encouraging and just trying to make me a better teacher because at the end of the day, if you're going to be working for them, they want to help you. So you're not penalized for sick days, meaning if you wake up one day and you are sick or someone in your family sick and you need to take care of them, then you aren't penalized. You get two free cancellations in a month, which is honestly more than enough. You know, since you already get to make your own schedule, it's really a lovely thing that they do by offering these penalty free cancellations because sometimes, you know, stuff comes up. We, we're all human, you know, we're living 
living life and things come up. So, okay, moving on to the schedule. Like I said, you can make your schedule as you go, which is amazing. There is no minimum amount of time you have to work in a week or a month, but they do encourage you to open up 60 peak hour slots and you'll learn more about that in your interview or just reading online. But the peak hours are just hours where students are booking more classes and they need more teachers. So classes right now are open from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. BJT and then they reopen from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. BJT. But that changes with daylight savings and all that stuff. But basically, if you're in the U.S. and you're in like CST time zone like me, you're teaching pretty early in the morning and relatively late at night. So that can be really great for you people who maybe have a daytime job or your days full with other tasks. It's a really nice schedule. So let me walk you through the application. First of all, you obviously just apply online. You submit your own application. And also, if you're interested, please check in my description box for my referral code and apply through that link. And once you've done that, you will then be scheduled for your live demo or your recorded demo slash your interview. So you do have the option to record your demo, though I highly recommend you do it live because you can receive feedback right after. It's a lot quicker. And I think that just shows a little bit more initiative on your end. But then again, if you're really busy and the recorded demo works for you, do that. So if that doesn't go well, you can try again in about 90 days, but if it does go well, then you will be scheduled for your training. And so what they're gonna do is they're gonna talk you through all the Magic Ears policies, uh, tips and tricks, and get you prepared for what's next, which is your trial class. Your trial class is a real class with real students. You are going to be just like a Magic Ears teacher, but what they do here is they just see how you do in the environment, and they see how you engage with the students and how you interact. You're not expected to be perfect. Sometimes you'll be asked to teach a second trial class, but this is no big deal. Don't be nervous about that. They just might want to see you interact a bit more. And then after that, you will be either giving an offer to work, or you can try again in 90 days, where then it's really easy breezy. You just have to pass a background check to give them a bit of information about you, and then they do the background check. It's nothing that you have to do. And then you'll be given a contract and you sign. And it's a six month contract and bada bing, bada boom, you're ready to teach. They monitor your first 10 classes. They give you feedback, which is really, really helpful. As a new teacher, a lot of you may not have had teaching experience before. So they always get back with you and say, hey, this was awesome. Or hey, maybe try this. It's always really encouraging feedback and something that I think is great in those first few classes you're teaching. So now I'm going to kind of step back and give you some tips I have for all the interview process, application process, your first class, all that type of thing. Just because I know when I was interviewing and doing all this for the first time, I was so nervous. So sit back. Let me let me ease your mind. So definitely just prepare. Figure out what types of questions, you know, why do you want to teach? Why do you want to work with magic ears? You know, what excites you about this? No answers to those types of questions. No about your education background and just tell a little bit about your yourself. But when we get to the trial class, you definitely want to know that Magic Ears really likes if you have two props. In fact, they highly encourage it. So try and check out that class before time. Find something around your house that relates to the class and use that because number one, it helps you with the class. The kids love when you have props, you know, it makes them excited and it will really impress Magic Ears. I will link uh, down below from ESL Authority. They have this great blog about props that Magic Ears like, so I'll link that below if you need some inspiration. Make sure to speak slowly and use words the kids will know. You know, don't be really worried. You'll be like, hi, hello, hello. You know, really be patient. Let them respond to you before you move on. And don't use a lot of flashy language. Remember, they are learning English. So definitely try and tone down and use easy words and words that are very clear. Smile a lot and don't be afraid to correct errors. You know, you are there as a teacher. Be polite, but also make sure that they are actually learning. Try and think of your transition phrases for each slide. So, you know, maybe you're moving on to the next slide. Don't just be silent, but kind of be like, all right, guys, let's move on. Or great job, let's see what's next. And make sure you kind of have that stuff prepared so you don't stutter or have any awkward silent pauses. And overall, just remember you're teaching kids. Make it fun and exciting for them and it'll be a lot easier for you as a teacher as well. So there are three bottom lines that Magic Ears talks about all the time. And this is something you should never forget. It's the three most important things you should take away from this video. And that is teaching with passion, class progress, and zero noise policy. So I'll break that down for you and tell you what exactly those three things mean. So teaching with passion. Something that Magic Ears will introduce to you is TPR, which is the total physical response, meaning use your body language, use your hands. When you want to teach them a word, put your hand here. So you might say, 
Well, for instance, my class this morning was bucket. We're talking about the beach. So you might want to say bucket. And after you repeat it and you want to hear it from them, you'll say the word and you'll do to your ear. They'll know to repeat it back to you. So this kind of hand gestures and you know remember you're in a screen about this big and you want to make sure they can see your movement and know what you're asking them to do class progress the first three minutes are dedicated to your introductions getting ready you know welcoming them to the class and then you keep that pretty short and you want to go ahead and move on to the presentation and games and this is the bulk of the lesson it's about 15 to 18 minutes of your 25 minutes and here you really want to drive home the lesson objectives you know what are the new words we're using how are we using them in sentences are we saying them correctly for about four minutes near the end is the production period where the students kind of interact with each other they use the words in sentences and you're kind of like playing a game and then the last three minutes is where you conclude the lesson you congratulate them you reward them for their good work and you say goodbye and that is the 25 minutes again 25 minutes is quite short and you have a lot of things you need to get done so make sure you do look at the lesson beforehand kind of plan out how you want to go about the lesson they already provide the lessons for you so all you need to do as a teacher is just read over and familiarize yourself with it so you feel comfortable in teaching it so the zero noise policy is pretty direct you can probably figure out what that means but just make sure you mute the student if they have any distracting or loud background noise and then if you hear their parents talking to them again that kind of goes for if a parent or sibling or somebody is in the background we want to block their camera so that it's not distracting for the whole class I think I've said everything I wanted to say I cannot recommend magic ears highly enough they are an amazing company to work for if you are interested check my referral code in the description box and get started there with your application and I've also linked a lot of help helpful video links and other blogs and things like that that I pulled from when I was looking to work with magic ears so I hope you find some value in that and without further ado I will see you guys in the next one bye bye